Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have already discussed in detail about several unsupervised machine learning algorithm, right? K-means algorithm, hierarchical clustering algorithm, DB scan, all these things, right? What are the advantages and disadvantages? How to implement these algorithms in MATLAB? What are the important interview questions related to data science or machine learning post? All these things I have covered, right? And now in this video, I am going to discuss another very interesting unsupervised machine learning algorithm which is very popular and very simple yet very powerful okay and that is mean shift clustering algorithm so from the name itself we can understand what actually central uh, part or computation process in this particular algorithm that is nothing but we'll shift towards mean okay like that something okay mean is a descriptive statistics parameter as you know right already discussed several times uh, okay so now let's try to have some intuition about this so mean shift algorithm is a way of finding the modes of the distribution function or suppose you are having a feature space you are trying to find out the mode mode means obviously as you know from our statistics point of view that mode is nothing but maximum uh, frequent element right so here mode in this particular context of mean shift algorithm mode is highest density of data points in a region okay where density is maximum our this particular algorithm will try to find that particular region okay so see very simple you just consider this particular picture here this is suppose this is considered as two dimensional feature space here some feature is plotted and here some feature is present now you can understand the dense most dense area is this region right i hope you can easily understand from the visualization right okay so what we'll do we will start from a random point and we will try to uh, come out with an algorithm which will lead to this particular part okay so we have to start with some random data point suppose random data point present here so this is our uh, initial random point somewhere present here okay so what we'll be doing in this algorithm we'll be considering a circle having certain radius this radius should be an input parameter for this particular algorithm so that particular circle will be plotting across our point okay the point we have chosen randomly so the scenario can be interpreted like this this suppose this is our region of interest or our starting point of the algorithm which is chosen randomly and then we are considering a circle having radius r okay like this right i hope up to this it is very simple and clear to you now inside these circles see all these points are coming and outside this circle these points and these three points are present right i hope it is clear to you now what we'll be doing we'll be computing centroid okay for all these data points which are coming inside the circle okay how what is the centroid formula that is for all these data points we'll be computing mean of x coordinates and for all these data points which are coming inside circle we'll be computing mean of y coordinates okay so mean of x coordinate comma mean of y coordinate will be giving us the centroid for this particular system okay where only these data points are present okay now suppose this is the uh, newly calculated centroid which is quite obvious that it should be present towards this side because inside circle if you consider here uh, many data points present so there is a possibility that center of mass or centroid considering all these data points which are coming inside circle will be present here okay but our actual uh, starting point was this one now what we'll be doing we'll be shifting from this particular region of interest to this point okay that is each time we will be computing centroid considering those data points which are coming inside circle and we will be shifting to that side okay so as you can see here here in this part centroid is coming because here is more more accumulation of data points so we will be shifting towards this and this particular vector okay which is directing from this data point to this data point is called mean shift vector okay because here we are shifting towards mean okay so this is what about all the algorithm mean shift algorithm the name comes from this particular part so now our system that is region of interest will be this point and we will be drawing a same circle considering radius r okay so see now we have shifted and we are our uh, new circular position is this one now you can see 
that which is quite obvious that again we are going to compute the center of mass for this particular system considering all the data points which are coming inside circle okay and it is quite clear that circle uh, center of mass for this particular all the data points will be present somewhere here because you can understand that in this side okay uh, there is more accumulation of data points so there is a probability that shift will be this side so intuitively also we can understand now again what we will be doing we will be shifting our region of interest from this to this direction okay like this vector and we are arriving here now which is quite clear that center of mass will be in this direction because here more accumulation of points coming this is the center of mass which we are computing again the computation process is same considering the data points which are coming within the circle compute mean of x coordinates compute mean of y coordinates and that location is basically our center of mass or centroid for this particular system which is formed considering all the data points which are coming inside the circle okay then again we will be shift we will be making one shift and we will be reaching here okay and you can understand we have started from somewhere here where density was very less density of the data points was less but due to iteratively following this particular approach we are eventually going towards the region where density of data points is more and eventually if you continuously perform the same thing again and again one time you will be reaching here okay so basically this is the notion of our mean shift clustering algorithm whose aim is basically finding the maximum density region okay now how this can be used as our uh, clustering algorithm that i am going to discuss in my upcoming videos but try to understand the main part of this whole algorithm this is the main part okay right and now we have understood this algorithm we have seen within this particular uh, pre, uh, powerpoint presentation all good but until we visualize something the feeling does not go or does not reach up to that level right so here i just want to demonstrate the same using a small piece of code which i have written but this code i have not tested for edge cases okay how it will work anyway i am going to post the same code okay right you can try with this you can play around this particular code explore this but actual mean shift code i am going to provide in my upcoming video that you can use anywhere that is completely uh, uh, you uh, can be used in any situation okay but this particular code is just for demonstration purpose it might throw error for some edge cases or some special test case or corner cases okay so i am running this here basically i am having my feature space okay two dimensional feature space looks like this and i am i have created g input function so that i can give uh, the initial starting coordinate using the mouse pointer click okay now it is quite clear that near to centroid the density is more near to boundary the density is less right so we'll start from boundary and we'll see how eventually we are going towards the most dense region so suppose i am starting from this direction okay i have just hitted mouse pointer and see eventually it is going at each time what is the centroid considering all the data points which are coming inside circle are basically shown like this kind of red data point okay so see we have started from here and eventually we have moved to this direction now the code is written such that it has to run five times that is you have to give five uh, mouse pointer input okay so using uh, from left to center we have gone now let's check from maybe top to center and let's check okay so see the code is eventually going towards centroid okay so this is the beauty of this particular program mean shift clustering mean mean idea of mean shift clustering okay so intuitively also i hope you are getting the you are getting the feeling now let's draw a point here okay see eventually my circle is going right so here also you will be putting one point so see the thing is that they are trying to reach at the same point so this is actually good because this is following one cluster we can understand so if from different different locations if we are starting then also they are trying to reach at least the centroid part where density is more okay right so one more last we can maybe try here once okay
and see this is how beautifully it is working wherever you start it will try to reach the center point okay right so this is the all about the visualization the code i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section but it is not suggested that you just go and apply this particular program anywhere just try to uh, make a dry run and try to understand what is happening modify according to your own need or own use case and play around this but this particular visualization i hope uh, made your feeling stronger about this particular algorithm and this is all about our min shift i'll be discussing the programming part in my upcoming video thank you